new videos every day. Hi, this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. I want to talk to you about chronic fatigue syndrome. Now, classically, when we talk about chronic fatigue syndrome, we talk about a viral infection. That was the original diagnosis based on the Epstein-Barr virus. First, we talk about mononucleosis and then chronic fatigue. But honestly, chronic fatigue comes from a lot of different sources. There's another little bug called a mycoplasma. There are bacteria, there are viruses. There are a lot of things that fatigue the body by using its resources. That's one way that we could talk about chronic fatigue. So often we have to find that agent that's causing the body to use its resources, that's wearing you out in a sense. But we have to look at other things as well. One big, big thing is how well your mitochondria are working. Remember your mitochondria are your little energy powerhouses. They're cells in your body. They're very dense in your muscle cells or in, around your muscles. And these little energy factories, if they can't work properly, they won't make energy for you. So you're going to be tired. Another factor you have to look at is whether or not you're sleeping. We find so many people these days that just aren't getting any sleep. And in fact, they fall asleep pretty readily. I find most people that we work with with sleep problems, they can fall asleep. In fact, they're so fatigued, they probably fall asleep too quickly, but they're up several times a night. And it takes a lot to get them back to a point where they can sleep. Remember, the golden number is about seven and a half hours of sleep. If you're not getting that much sleep, you're missing out on a lot of things that happen at night. If you're getting less sleep than that seven to seven and a half hours, you're not making growth hormone, you're not doing the repairs, you're not going to be refreshed the next morning. And that's going to add to the chronic fatigue. So there are more than just one factor. There's a lot of factors that cause the fatigue. And of course, chronic fatigue just means it's an ongoing problem and it does, it's not something that just happened at one point. So when we talk about chronic fatigue syndrome, we've got to look at several different factors. We've got to look and see if there's an active virus. We've got to look and see if there are bacteria. We have to look and see if there are metals or chemicals or something that are interfering with your production of energy. And we have to look at the amount of stress. Most people with chronic fatigue have high levels of stress and that causes a hormonal imbalance. Two hormones in particular, cortisol and melatonin. If you're having trouble sleeping, that's one of the first places to look. Even though we have to look at other factors, we wanna look and see what the balance of those hormones are. One of the best ways to test cortisol is to go get a cortisol test where you can take several samples of the saliva and graph out the diurnal cycle, the daily cycle, and you can see whether or not your cortisol is operating the way they should. Is it getting you up in the morning and is it falling off through the day and then allowing you to sleep at night? If not, if it's too high, your adrenals are really stressed. They're putting out way too much cortisol. Of course, we know that can affect weight loss and other things that needs to be brought down. On the other hand, if your cortisol has dropped below where we expect it to be, you're in exhaustion. Your adrenals aren't even making the cortisol they should. Why is that important? Because you need cortisol to get up and get going. It's a stress hormone, but it's also required just for your daily cycle. It has to work in conjunction with something called melatonin, another very important hormone. And you can use melatonin many times to help with your sleep if that's where the problem is. And that's what it's helpful in looking at some of these different hormones. But remember, the fatigue can have a lot of different factors. You can have an imbalance, you can have an interference, or you can just be way too stressed. So look at all these factors. They've even found that exercises like deep breathing and relaxation exercises can really affect the fatigue. Now, another thing we have to talk about is nutrition. If you're not eating well, if you're not eating the nutrients, getting them in your diet or in some other way, you're going to have an imbalance that won't allow you to sleep as well. So you have to look at fatigue as a multifaceted thing. You have to realize that all of these things are probably part of the problem. If you don't feel rested in the morning, if you get through the day and you don't have enough, if you run out of gas at the end of the day, or if you're just not sleeping well, then you need to look at the stress, you need to look at the nutrients, and you need to look at what it's going to take to get you to a point where you're not fatigued. We have a number of patients that come in, and that's a big component for most of them. It also couples to what we call fibromyalgia, which we've talked about before. 
often they go together. Especially women will find that they're out of any energy to do things. And we get their nutrients replaced, we get their diet changed, and a lot of the problems go away. In fact, I have had a number of patients where simply altering their diet and getting the right nutrients in made the biggest difference. So it's not always really a complicated picture. It's really about getting your body to function correctly so that you're not fatigued. Let's talk a little bit about what the conventional approach would be for chronic fatigue syndrome. The first thing you have to address is you're probably not sleeping. So often they'll give you something like Ambien or something stronger. They'll probably consider the fact that you are depressed, which you probably are if you're not resting and you're fatigued all the time. But the point is here that nobody's going after the cause. This is a short-term solution, if it's a solution at all. You may sleep better, but it's going to be a drug sleep. It won't be as restful. The mood may be elevated by whatever antidepressant they give you. But again, you don't want it to be dependent on those medications. We need to find the root of the problem. So the conventional approach addressing the symptoms is not where we want to go. I want you to look into finding someone like a clinical nutritionist who can get to the bottom of things. As I mentioned, there are several factors that can cause your fatigue. And if you're watching this video, it's likely that what you've tried conventionally hasn't worked. You've still got the problem, or you know somebody with a problem. Look for someone who can look to can find the answers. And as I've gone over those factors before, you need to look at good nutrition. You need to look at hormonal imbalance. Your problem may come down to the fact that you haven't been eating real well, that you've been eating a lot of sweet foods, that you've been getting a lot of sugar, and you're actually hypoglycemic. What happens there is you've been eating so much sugar that your body's starting to put out excess insulin, and then suddenly your brain doesn't have enough fuel to run on because your brain needs glucose. It can at some points run on fat, but it really needs the sugar. Well, if your other cells are using up the sugar because you put out so much insulin, it doesn't get to your brain, and your brain's going to have to shut down. That's not a restful sleep. That's just the inability to function. So hypoglycemia can be the root of your fatigue. And it's because you, in a sense, are putting in too much energy and you're reacting to it, which is also going to lead to obesity and everything else. You're just complicating the problem. So take an approach to chronic fatigue that actually finds the reason for it and fixes that, and then you don't have the problem anymore. So rethink having chronic fatigue. Rethink the fact that you're always tired. Rethink any of your symptoms. They all have a cause and they all have a fix. Look for the cause and fix it. This is Dr. Vince Balanzi.